It was just before lunch yesterday when a Wake County woman says she was inside the Nightdale Walmart looking at Christmas cards. I feel just something kind of strange, like someone around me. So I turned around, but I don't see anyone. But then I, I see a shadow on the floor. So when I look down, I see a body and I see this man looking up like and I was just shocked. She identified the man as 25 year old Nishan Holmes. We went to his home in Franklin County where he told us he was looking at candy mints. I told her that I was bending down to look at the display case. At first I said, sorry, I told her sorry. Because I didn't want to, you know, to further escalate the situation. I said, sorry? Sorry for being in between my legs? I said, you're sick, you're sick. And I just started like screaming. The victim, whom we're not identifying, says she followed the man into the parking lot and he kept circling her. That gave the police enough time to show up. They say he confessed to trying to lick and kiss her shoes. I didn't even touch her. I didn't even come in contact with her. But why would you tell the police that? I guess I panicked. I just said lick. I never said kiss. I never said kiss. Well, if that wasn't part of what you were doing, why would that even enter your mind when you're talking to the police? I guess I don't know what happened. The victim says she was told it's likely surveillance cameras captured the incident. We asked the suspect what he thought it would show. It will show me basically like, you know, being like down like that. But it won't tell me, show me like being on her legs or anything like that. Holmes says he also saw the woman write down his license plate number, figured she might call police, and he says that's why he kept going around the parking lot. He was waiting on them to show up and cooperated with them when they did. Now, right now, this whole thing seems to be a he said, she said tale. Certainly, if there is surveillance video of this incident, it will likely help and should help investigators sort it all out.